Welcome to the fourth and final episode of the Arid Solo Survival series. Today we will continue with more PvP, finishing up the base and raiding the whole server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more Arid content in the future, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already, each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and it is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going to do another one which is a burning paper hat. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure that you have subscribed, liked and comment whatever you want below. If you guys want to play on high quality servers, feel free to check Check out my network. Over there I have servers from PvP, PvE, modded and high time slot. The discord link for the network will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright so we are back in base from that pretty good raid. Got myself Maple Strike which is probably the most important item from that whole raid. We got ourselves another Gauss Mask, another Filter. We got ourselves also a ton of components. So that raid wasn't too bad. Now today what I will try to do is I will try to find more base raids. You obviously need to farm a ton. And I also want to make ourselves the main loot room. Where basically it will be just a 2x2 two two full metal. I don't think I'll be making it into an Dementium. Probably just metal will be enough. We got ourselves a stack of armor plates as well. We put the guns that we just gotten over there. Now I'm gonna try out the Maple Strike. I don't know if it's actually good or not when it comes to PvP. Perhaps I will also do myself a Horde Beacon later on or a Distress Beacon. I really don't know. Yeah, we could put a laser on the Maple Strike. Now apparently it is extremely rare to get this. It has like a 1% chance drop in certain locations. So thankfully we picked our good base to raid earlier. Yeah, we got ourselves quite a ton of explosives in here. We need 7 to make 1c4. But we do need blasting caps, which I don't think I have that much anymore. So perhaps it's time to go do another dead zone run as well. We got ourselves a pickaxe as well from that, so we can go and mine metal and adamantium. Perhaps I can even make myself a generator and a sentry. I should be able to do that. Yes sir, made ourselves a plate, toolbox, and we got ourselves a generator. Obviously we don't have fuel yet, but perhaps having a sentry will be... Pretty good. We'll do a makeshift sentry turret. We should have actually everything. So let me just go around the base, pick everything up, and we'll try to do a sentry. The only thing I don't have is low tier gun parts, which I will go to Tamara Complex, our War Night Vision as well. We'll go to AG17, and we're just going to salvage as much items as possible. Let's med up because we are quite low as well for some reason, but it's time to loot around a bit. I actually should have brought the Maple Strike with me. I wish we would have used that. Alright, so I should have everything to make the makeshift. I'm not gonna make the normal sentry. We needed that. Now what we need is a sheet, and bam, makeshift sentry turret has also been crafted. Now I don't know what's the difference between this one and the normal sentry. I assume it will just be better, but for now this one is more than enough, honestly. I don't even have gas, so it's kind of useless right now. So I'll probably go to Abu Akabair, and from there we'll get ourselves some fuel. Let's need to find myself the gas can first. I have no idea where I put it. Uh, there, found it. Let's go. Well, we are back in base, got myself some other gas cans as well, but it is at 100% now, so that turret will be there for quite a while. Alright, so I'm currently going to go for an AG-19 loot run. The only things I'm gonna be hoping to get is as much ammo belts as possible. Now, some of you guys told me that it's better to go to Fort Knell, but the thing is I do not have a vehicle. So by going there, I would automatically waste a filter. I do know that you can get good items from there. We got two MKPs. I'm gonna salvage those. We all need the ammo for it. Oh, blasting cap, lovely. It's exactly what I was looking for, to be honest. And after that, I will try to make as much raiding gear as possible. There's an airdrop as well that's about to land somewhere. It's alright, we won't go for it. One fourth gunpowder, recon, we'll salvage this, get ourselves HQ and armor plate. Now something that I do want to do as well, is making the base a bit bigger. And by that I mean having a sp separate loot room, full metal. So we're gonna need to farm a lot of metal for that. Here we get ourselves a ton of AP shells and gunpowder from that. Amazing. Oh, stuff just respawned, beautiful. Mime shell. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, let's kill this dude. Roll of lead, we don't need that. Alright, and we are out. This is what we have gotten. We got a stack of high quality gun parts from salvaging weapons, so that's pretty nice as well. We're gonna home, get ourselves a ton of gunpowder too. There's a couple in my vault as well. We'll put the items that we just gotten. in the crates, we'll place that down as well. Alright, so it is time to craft explosives. Got one and two charges. Lovely. That's actually quite damaging, to be honest. I can make more. I just need blasting caps. I honestly thought it would be harder to get explosive compounds, but not really. Also, at some point, I will try to get everything in order to finish a rocket launcher. I should have everything except the illegal gun parts. That one is not that easy to get. And we can either get it from raiding, or we would need to barter in the save zone. I'm pretty sure we would need, like, high-quality gun parts or floppy disks. I'm not entirely sure what we need. Alright, well, found a base, and it seems, yeah, it's fully unraided. Beautiful. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this car, make it very, very close so that we can jump on the roof. Hopefully, it's this car is high enough. I'm gonna stop it there. Now we do some parkour. Yes, sir. Now, my vault, I got three charges. Detonator, we also have some ammo for the... 
AMR, we'll put the charge right over there. We'll go here. And it broke. Yeah, there's some loot over there. Nothing. Some items. Okay, well, some mesh. A saw, we actually did need that. We did not have that this whole time. There's a car engine here. I will take this and we'll sell it in the safe zone. It's quite expensive. I will take the dog tags, the plastic. I'm actually really happy with the rescue saw. And with night vision, we got ourselves an extra pair. And we are stuck. Oh, well, I just found this garage that is like 5 euros in here. It's kind of incredible how much euros there are. I'm going to break all of them. The thing about arid vehicles is that their storage is insanely big. So I'm going to break them. And uh, even if we break, even if there's nothing in there, they will drop like certain items which we can salvage and get us a lot of metal. I think there's actual loads in there. Oh yeah, there is. Hey, oh, there's actual guns and RPG breach. I also saw a steely over there. I'm gonna break all of them then. The first death one's exploding. That one exploded as well. Let's reload. Let's check out if they actually did drop anything. I think only the first one had actual items though. I might need to re wait for them to despawn. Oh no, there's more loot. There's a stack of high tier gun parts. Oh, this one wasn't even locked. Oh, there's actual items there. Yeah, there's a military computer, a heavy helmet, a bunch of P90 ammo, weapon repair kit. This was uh, unexpected. This is why on air you always break vehicles. Yeah, dude, there's so much loot. There's another stack of high tier gun parts, homemade charge, hyper velocity ammo, redium bar, a ton of weapons. We could salvage them and get a ton of high tier gun parts as well, but yeah, we got a ton from this alone. As for here, there's even more items. Yeah, metal sheets. Well, that was unexpected. There's a weapons case. All right, let's break the last one. Imagine it had C4 or something like that. Oh, it's blowing up. Alright, yeah, they both blow up. I don't think this one has anything, actually. Yeah, this one had nothing. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up all of the parts and I'm gonna salvage them. We get so much items from that. And now we do need metal, to be honest. Or is a mega zombie? Easy. Okay, blasting cap, that's really good. Crypto transmitter. Nothing else that important, though. Airdrop is coming. I always go for the airdrops because a lot of people go for them. It's like the easiest way to find PvP. Yeah, there was a bunch of clothes. We'll salvage them. Get ourselves some armor plates. All right, airdrop. There's a bunch of steel mesh, a bunch of food, a bunch of ammo. Let's check out what the weapons also are. I don't even know, like, what they are. I would need to salvage them to check to actually know what the gun is. Yeah, nobody showed up either. I guess people just don't want to come for the airdrops. I'm gonna home. Alright, let's vote the steel match. That's a filter. Maybe I could wait a bit and see if people do show up. And I could try to kill them. And there's a big base over there, but it's raided. Alright, boys, found another base. It's wooden. One charge should be enough. Yes, sir, we're in. Uh, some boxes, nothing. Sterile bandages. A fridge. Lovely. Nothing. Camera. RPG barrel, I'll take that. I mean, the camera's good for a sentry. Oh, reloading tools, okay. Another camera. A bunch of junk. Plastic, some gunpowder, grenade. They have a metal crate. Okay. I mean, I will take that. I don't know why they did not place it. Yeah, this raid was uh, pretty poor. I'll take the mini fridge. We'll put that somewhere in base. Take some of the sterile bandages. And we. Let's vault. I don't know. What did we get that's good from this raid? We put the detonator, steel mesh, and the camera. Finding a lot of like small raids to find something that's small but actually has a ton of good loot. Alright, boys. So earlier I did mention that I want to have a big base a big area like a two by two full metal even the pillars all of that where it would just be metal and it would be the main loot room now what i'm doing is i'm currently picking up all of the metal that i have running around in my base all of the frags all of the parts sheets bars all of that and i'm gonna make them all into plates and we're gonna start constructing our lovely loot room now this might actually take me a while but it's okay it'll be worth it in the end Alright, and this is how it is so now. I did actually make the pillars out of wood. I know I said I wouldn't, but I did. It would be just be a bit of a waste. Now we need the doorway and uh, we'll put it to the side. We'll put it right over there. Now we still need to do a door. I can make it maybe armored metal door as well. We have an armor plate stack right over here. Salvage that. Now all we need is metal parts, which I should have boxes of lying around somewhere. Also, I do want to upgrade the roof so that it, the floor wouldn't be wooden. Because as you guys may see, my base is literally a mess right now. Everything is just everywhere. Alright, and all the floors were placed. Now, the only metal crate I have right now is that one. I'll probably just make the big industrial wooden crates. For now, maybe later on, then I will just make the metal ones. But yeah, we also did do the armored metal door. Now it's time to start moving all of the loot. We'll start salvaging the big boy industrial lockers. And probably in two hours, I will be back. Alright, for now, this is how it's looking. This area, I will just place components all of that food we'll play it, place it right over here but i'm probably gonna take a break and run around the map maybe try to get some pvp or maybe do some little base raids there's a lot to do actually i'll move the reloading tools on the toolboxes up there i don't know why i have three 
but better having a couple than one. Because if we do lose one, somehow, then I would be pretty mad. Oh, here an airdrop. It's a full moon as well. And somebody just got in a truck. Bro, I can't... Oh yeah, he's right there. Oh, the other dude is up here. Oh, he's dead. Uh, okay, some guns. He has a Zolash. Wait. Let's get... Let's clear the zombies. Yeah, the sniper. Some steel mesh. Grenade. Right, well, it's obviously a duo. The other guy ran away. That's mad up. He probably kept driving away, man. Oh. Oh no, those are the zombies. They're just running into the landmines. So this duo is actually a villain duo. So I'm kind of scared. He hit a T-22 only. And the Zolash though, but I did not. Oh, he's right there. I see him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's mad up. Yeah, the other guy is still there because he hit me. I'm probably gonna push with the MKP to be honest. Yeah, he's right over there. I see him. Oh, yeah, he's shooting me. Oh, he's hiding. Bro, I can barely see with this fog. I can barely see with this storm, man. Oh, yeah, he's right here. He's dead. Both dead. Let's go. Alright. So he has a bunch of ammo. Let's salvage his pants because I'm bleeding. And I don't want to die. That's mud up. Uh, he has some components. Some ammo, compass. Yeah, I'll take everything and we'll just salvage them. He had an axe too. That's pretty nice. Bunch of food. Check out what this dude had. He probably only had a gun though. Yeah, the TKB. Alright, let's go. Easy loot. There's another gun here. T-22. Yeah, there's a bunch of Zolash magazines. Plastic. Alright, duo eliminated. They have a car here. Obviously, it's locked. Should I blow it up and hope that there's items in the trunk? Because they might have put good items over there. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no, they didn't. There's just car parts. I'll go back to base. Alright, boys, it is time for a distress beacon. Crafted one, got myself a ton of ammo. Hopefully, people would encounter me, but I will try to do it as quick as possible, yeah. The first garage didn't have any zombies in it, so people may actually have looted this area already. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it anyway. I'll place this bad boy right in the middle. Uh, NKP takes one to two headshots for each zombie. I got myself uh, quite a ton of ammo. Let's hotkey some meds. And here we go. Yeah, two headshots. Depends what kind of zombie it is. My mega zombie is dead. Now there's only a few zombies left, hopefully. Now I switch back to the MKP. An airdrop is passing by as well. I think that's the last dude back there. No, it's not. Alright, now it popped. Okay, well, this horde sucked. Ayo, filter. <laughs> Alright, yeah, not worth it. Oh, the airdrop is actually landing here. Alright, airdrop. Um, there are four gun cases. Right, that one was pink. So it's a legendary weapon. Right, let's hide in here. What is this? Oh, it's the auto shotgun. Okay. Yeah, we didn't have one of that, so I'm happy we got that. Hey, wait, what? Okay, there was a guy. Uh, Zolash, a bunch of ammo. Bro, that terrified me. I had no idea about him. Alright, boys, we are back in AG19. We're almost done, actually. Honestly, I came here just for ammo belts. More than anything. Because we're starting to run out of raiding gear. And I wanted to make more. Just in case we find something big. But after this, we'll be running around looking for more raids. Because we haven't really done that much raids today. We did like two small ones. And I want to do more, obviously. Alright, so I'm at the north side of the map. Very close to the fishing area. There is a... Uh, this is quite a big base, actually. Please, it's unraided. Oh, there's a garage. Oh, this part isn't a garage. Oh, we just found, I think, another base raid. Lovely. We got ourselves a charge and a detonator. Put that bad boy right there. Insane bait. Okay, loot. I hear loot. Uh, okay. Not that good loot. An artillery shell case, I'll take that. Yo, RPG, parts, broken clock, red flow beat risk. Van 98, we don't know have that, so I'll take that. Bunch of metal, iridium bar. There's ammo crates, uh, some more guns, digital camera, some scope, pistol ammo, intermediate CRA ammo. And there's more perhaps up here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of more crates. Nothing. A bunch of plastic. There's like 40 logs here. I'll take that. Another camera. Some items. There's a charge. Homemade charge. Hey, illegal gun parts. Okay, wait. This That's really good. Video receiver. This one. Okay, not, nothing that good. Bro, those illegal gun parts are what we needed to finish the RPG. There's a bunch of plastic here. There's like two stacks. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. First, I thought this raid was much worse. We got some items we did not have. And some very, very important items. Yeah, let's salvage the broken clock. Let's take the digital camera. Yeah, we have a full inventory. Let's stack the plastic though, make it into rolls. There we go, we got two stacks. We'll take the digital camera, scissors. Salvage that, obviously. There's some bricks in here. An armor plates. Fishing rod tier 4. Yeah, that's not too bad. Blasting cap. Alright, from this raid alone, we have to go back to base and depot. Alright, boys. We should have literally everything to make the rocket launcher. 
Yes sir, RPG has been crafted. Absolutely lovely. I can make rockets as well. I have so much blasting caps. We'll put the plastic crate over here because I did finish the quest for that. Alright boys, we found a base to raid. I literally had to look at every single corner of the map to find this. There's nothing else to raid after this. Nothing that I found at least. Alright, that's gonna explode. Hopefully soon. I don't know how long it takes. Alright. So now we're gonna finish off with the AMR. Alright. 10 shots in. I have 24 shots left. Hopefully it will be enough. Another shot's in. 14 shots after this. Alright, we're in. Right, there's a crate. Nothing. Oh wow. Well, that was a great final base raid. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this episode. Now, after that, I did leave the server. I finished the series. I did do everything that I wanted to do. Got myself every type of raiding method, which was rocket launcher, C4, and AMR. If you guys do want to see another series in the future, let me know in the comment section below. I really hope that you did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!